It is time for your good news and we have officially hit county fair season and the state fair isn't until August, but there's plenty of excitement just out the back door locally. Reporter Micah Henson went out to the Barron County Fair to discover what they're doing for their 70th year. Take a look. Celebrating 70 years of tradition, the Barron County Fair is in full swing, bringing joy and excitement for generations of fairgoers. Tonight brought many motorsports, wrestling, so much more. Oh, and we can't forget catfish wrestling. Right now I'd be going to catfish wrangling before it ended because that's a hugely popular event. I've got three bleachers over there and that wasn't enough. I should have taken four, so fair manager made a mistake there, but we always have a lot of competitors in that where two people get in the tank to catch a catfish and uh, it's a tournament format. We've been doing this for the third year now and people really love that event. For the younger generation, it's all about the games, the treats, and of course, the rides. I've ridden everything, a couple things twice. My favorite is the swinging boat. That's always been my favorite. Um, maybe the uh, yeah, Dizzy Dragon. The one over there. It, yeah. It's um, fun year round. And we can't forget, no fair experience is complete without indulging in the delicious food. I like the funnel cakes and the ice cream, but that's just me. It's got to be the cheesy sticks and, and the sweet tea. Well, I'm probably going to see if uh, Judge Bird will get, if we can share a funnel cake. I'm definitely going to get a big pop of some kind, and hopefully we can find a corn dog somewhere. The Barron County Fair this year will go through Saturday with a truck and tractor pull and demolition derby still to come. And then the 4-H and FFA shows will be in mid-July. Whether it's the thrill of the rides, the taste of the food, or the joy of winning a prize, the Barron County Fair has something for everyone. Here's to 70 years of memories and many more to come. Reporting from the Temple Hill Barron County Fairgrounds with my much needed lemon shakeup, I'm Micah Henson, WPKO News. to celebrate. After several weeks of the beaches being closed, the park notified potential guests through Facebook that beginning today, the beaches will officially reopen. The resort manager, Danny Sally, says until recently, there was no beach for guests to visit. And Barron River Lake Beach locations will open today. Locations will then be open daily from 10 a.m. until sunset until the end of the season. Well, Governor Andy Bashir announced a new investment in Muhlenberg County Thursday. The investment comes from Bruco Marketing Group, which plans to invest over $1.26 million and create 18 full-time jobs with an expansion at the company's existing operation in Central City. The expansion will allow Bruco to better serve the company's growing client base. And this investment and job creation builds on the best four-year period for economic growth in the state's history. And share your good news with us, and you just may see it right here on Midday Live. Submit your stories, your photos, and your videos. WBKO.com slash good news.